a mighty long way. Amen. Amen. And I thank God that he's been good to us all. We praise him for everything that he has done and all that he's going to do. So now we're going to prepare to bring you a message from God. All right. Our scripture is going to come from our scripture reading. Exodus, Psalms, Colossians, and Luke. And the title, You Can't Take It With You. Right. Amen? Amen? You can't take it with you. No matter how much wealth you have, you can't take it with you. I thought about this. You can't take it with you. We're going to take a look at why I say you can't take it with you. First, we're going to look at Psalms. And we're going to start... At verse 49, 5, what shall I fear in time of trouble when the iniquities of my persecutor surround me? Those who trust in their wealth and boast of the abundance of their riches. Truly, no ransom event for one's life. There is no price one can give to God for it. Amen? Amen. I want to stop right there for a minute. What can a man do to go to heaven? I don't know about you, but there are a lot of us that Life is built on being, want to be rich. Oh, yes. It's good to have nice clothes, a nice car, a nice home. But what I want to tell you and what God is telling you here, you can't buy your way to heaven. Amen? Amen. Your wealth and all that you possession can't save your life from going to hell. You see, there are a lot of people in America, and I'm going to say other countries, even those who may be watching this from other parts of the world, you can't take it with you. No matter where you live at, Africa, Jamaica, India, Thailand, whatever part of the country you live in, have you ever heard of somebody taking it with you? Now, we know back some 2,000 years ago when a king died, King Tuck and all the other kings, they possessions, they believed that there was life after death. And they buried their treasures and gold and everything in their tomb. Amen? But archaeologists, after discovering, <laughs> they found these tombs and everything. The king, the body was there, and the wealth was there. There was no life after death. Amen? So in other words, 
it's useless to say, bury all my wealth with me, because it's not going to buy you a part of heaven. And then we're going to go ahead down a little further. And we're going to look at verse Colossians, the third verse, down to number seven. And it reads, set your mind on things that are above, not on things that are on earth. For you have died, and your life is hidden with Christ in God. When Christ, who is life, is revealed, then you also will be revealed with him in glory. Put to death, therefore, whatever in you is earthly, fornication, impurity, passion, evil desire, greed, which is idols. On account of the, the wrath of God is coming on those who are disobedient. Now, we know that I'm I can't say because I ain't never been rich. I can't say that a rich man is wicked, but I can say he can't take it with him. We know that over the years, people that I've seen that had wealth and all things like that, they wasn't too kind to people. They were disobedient. They talked to you any kind of way. They put you down any kind of way. And even to the point that even today, they think they are God. Amen? You have people that have wealth don't forget about God. God is nowhere in their vocabulary. God is nowhere in their life. And they think that it's all about them. You have people that have two and three cars. You got people that got one or two houses, they got them rented out and all this and all of that. But where's God at in all of this? I kind of like wonder, God bless you with this. He allowed you to have this. Are you taking time out to give him praise? Are you taking time out to show other people or are you just thinking about yourself? You see, when God bless you with something, you ought to be trying to give back to God. I know you have people that are wealthy, and all they think about is how to get more. God is not in their vocabulary. And then you ask them for help, and they look at you like you're crazy. The reason why I say this is because I worked on, I'm working for a man that's wealthy. The company is prosperous. And I guess you can kind of say he's like this rich man. They spend their weekends 
on their boat. They spend their weekends on the farm. I kind of wonder where is God at? Because I not heard yet he went to church. And when you ask them for help on something, they look at you like you're crazy. They ran back in their big chairs and big seats. And the first thing they say, can you pay the interest? Come on now. <laughs> you can't take it with you. You have abundance, you got property, you're, but you're not giving praise to God. You got greed in your eyes and you're putting everybody else down and you're setting yourself up on a pedestal. You can't take it with you. This morning, those of you who are listening to this broadcast, wherever you may be, you can't take it with you. I don't know what you have, but I want you to know that give God praise. In other words, what I'm trying to tell you is get right with God. America, this world, and around the world, no matter where you may be in this world, overseas, Africa, Jamaica, India, Thailand, or whatever, I come to tell you, you are living in the last day. Our Heavenly Father is coming back. And those of you that are wealthy and all these possessions, you can't take it with you. I want you to know it's time to get right with God. It's time to make a change in your life. Like I said, it's good to live comfortable. Some people have air conditioning. I got two fans. Some people got cars. I got a bicycle. Some people have mopeds. But your thing is, I'm giving praise to God for what I have. Because I can't take none of this stuff with me. You can't take it with you. But what you can do is turn to your heavenly father and give your life to God. You're living in the last days. This is a time to ask God for change. Turn away from your disobedience. Hatred, things of fortification, all this other stuff. God is telling you that it's time to make a change. I come to tell you it's time to make a change. Being disobedient, being greedy, thinking that you're better than everybody else, just because you've got several cars in your driveway, you can buy a trade in any time you get ready. God come to tell me, you ain't no better than nobody else. It says whether you are uncircumcised or you're circumcised, you still, you still got to answer to God. I want you to know that you can't take it with you. You see, you can't take it with you. I thank God, and I want you to understand that I've been in the pit. I've had good credit. I had the dice called. 
But I come to tell you, you can have all this, but you can't take it with you. You can't take it with you. Because when you go to the grave, it's ashes, ashes, dust to dust, and you can't spend no money. You can't buy your way into heaven. You can't buy your way into God's kingdom. You got to give your life to God. This morning, you got to make a change. God wants you to turn away from your disobedient ways. God wants you to help those that are unfortunate. You see, you got to understand, in order to get right with God, you got to do what God wants you to do. A lot of people think that wealth and all these things, you think you're better than everybody. Well, I want you to know you can't take it with you. We have a lot of famous athletes that got money. We have politicians. Even now we're going into a a presidential debate where we're going to be electing a new president. And this is, from my standpoint, I've listened to the debates and everything. But if you watch, not one of them has said anything about God. Not one of them have said, America, we need to get close to God. You have all these, all these things going on in the world. Murder. Fornication. And all this greed and everything. But not yet have you seen any last one of these talk about God. Have, you have not seen any of them bring the statement up about God. What America needs and around the world is more godly leaders. In other words, maybe we need a preacher in the White House. Amen? But I don't know, but I do know this much. We're living in the last days no matter where you may live in this world, it's time for a change in your life. It's time to get right with God. In the White House, the big house or the poor house, you need to get right with God. Because you're living in the last day and you're either heaven bound or you're hell bound. Now, where do you want to spend eternity? You can't take it with you. This morning, I ask you, are you one of these people that you think you're better than everybody else? Are you one of these people that you think about nothing about earthly things? All you think about and you talk about is what you want to possess. All right, it's good to have it. I want to be like this. I want to live comfortable. I don't want to live fancy. I want me a new bicycle. Amen? Because I ain't got no driving license, so I don't need me breaking no law. You see? But my main goal and my object is to serve God the best of my ability. You see, since I found Jesus, there's a change in my life. But then there's days when I wonder if it really worth it. Some of you look at me and say, Pastor, what are you talking about? I said,
say that there are some days when I'm talking to God about certain situations in my life and I'm still getting the same results. And uh, I kind of wonder, is it all worth it? Is it what I'm doing, is it worth continuing? Because it seems like some of the fight I'm doing, it seems like it's not turning out the way it should. But God said, no matter what, Keep on standing. Keep on trusting in me. In other words, he's trying to tell us, no matter how bumpy the road may be, <laughs> no matter how crooked the road may be, but if you continue to look and put your trust in me, Everything's going to be all right. You see, that's what God's trying to tell us. You can't take it with you. We are living in the last days. And God is trying to send a message. And that message is you can't take it with you. America is in a Bad fix. America, wherever you may live in this broadcast, I don't know what's going on in your country, but I know if you don't have God in yes. your life, and you're not standing on God's word, yes. and you're living it by your own set of rules and regulations, yes. and you're thinking that what you're doing is the right thing, Come on. if it don't include God, yes. you're not doing the right thing. And you can't take it with you. Like I said, we give me to elect a new president. They s claim that they can do this, they can do that. Yeah. But I came to tell you, America, if you ain't got God in there, yes, on, you ain't, you can't do nothing about God. Yes. You see. They make you all kind of promises. Yeah. And when you get there, it's a whole different story. You've seen it. I've seen it. Hey, they tell me I got to have health coverage. Well. Now that I got it, I'm still paying more. Okay. And I can't take it with me. You see, it's time for us to get some politicians up there, maybe a preacher. It's time for us to get more close to God. Yes. We just can't keep on trying to make the rules and regulations and actually America to abide by it. We ask God that he strengthen and touch the politicians, well. those ones that are of authority. Yes. Give them the right frame of mind, Lord. Yes. Help them to help those less fortunate. Yes. Give something back. Come on. You see, you can't take it with you. All right. This morning, I want you to know that we're living in the last days, America. Like I said, I, I don't have the air condition. It costs too much to get it fixed. Mm -hmm. But I'm thanking God for the two fans I have. Amen. You see, I don't know about what part of the country you live in, but I know you're thanking God for what you got. Yeah. Whether you're in Jamaica, Wherever you're in Africa, wherever you may be, and you're hearing this broadcast, I want you to know you can't take it with you. Yes. Be satisfied with what you got. Yes. You see, you got to thank God thank you. for what you got. 
You're living in the last days. This world is coming to an end. Those of you that have this wealth that I'm speaking about, mm -hmm. those of you that think that having all this wealth, that you can talk to man and treat man any kind of way. Come on. God tell you right here, it's time for a change. Yeah. All of you disobedient people, yeah. all you greedy people, yeah. all you people that think it's all about you, all right. I come to tell you, God said it's not so. All right. It's time for a change. Yes, sir. This morning, I don't know what you're in need of. Mm -hmm. I don't know what the situation may be in your life. Okay. But I want you to know that it's the time to call Almighty God. Amen. If you have not <coughs> accepted God as your Lord and Savior, well. and even if you have and you're kind of backslid, and you want to rededicate yourself.